Patrick, um, there's folks on the left who think uh, that uh, people voted for Trump because in the, in my opinion, the hilarious lingo of some leftists, uh, they uh, centered their whiteness above anything else. So obviously, you guys disagree that it's about race, right, or gender. Uh, so what would you say your audience would say was the number one reason that, that they don't like the Democrats, they don't trust the Democrats, and they prefer Trump? All right. Let's jump into this clip where Patrick Bet David is giving Anna Kasparian and Jenk Uyghur a reality check on why he thinks Donald Trump actually won. Not because of racism, sexism, or any of the other reasons some on the left are throwing around. I'll chime in with my thoughts as we go. So let's watch this together. Well, I mean, if you think about for me, I'll, I'll speak for myself. I'm still a registered independent till today. It's been 15 years that I'm a registered independent. You can go online and find out what PBD is registered for. You'll see independent. And I voted Bill Clinton, and I think Bill Clinton was a good president. Just so you know, I thought when people talk about Bill Clinton, I thought he did a good job. I thought him being able to sit there and work with Newt Gingrich, making things work, was exciting, was good. But at that time, I wasn't married. I didn't have kids. I'm 46 years old. Today, I got four kids. And I got to kind of sit there and think about who's better for my kids. I lived in California 24 years. I ran a business in California for 24 years. I left California because one day some... A uh, uh, local, uh, you know, assessor, tax assessor, assessor comes up, and he says, "Hey, we heard your business has grown." I said, "Yes." Well, you owe, uh, you need to pay a local tax assessor tax of sixty nine thousand dollars. I said, "What are you talking about?" He said, "Yeah, I need to pay." I said, "For what?" So, well, based on our estimation, this is how much you need to pay. Nothing audited estimation. I go to the seventh floor, which was my accounting firm at the time. I said, "What is this all about?" He says, oh, Happens one out of 20 business owners, but if they come to you, you got to pay for it. I said, what are you talking about? $69,000, he says, yes. I said, what counties or cities in LA do I not have to pay a assessor tax? And I don't remember at that time, I thought he said Victorville, Burbank, Glendale, Santa Monica, a couple of these cities. I said, I'm going to move to Glendale. So I moved my headquarters to Glendale because I want to be in a place that I can reinvest that money into the business. Eventually, I left California because I didn't think California was a pro business state. Hence, today, after COVID, two states in America lost a trillion dollars of assets under management, New York and California. Bad policies push business owners like me, like Musk, like many others out. Now, I go to Texas. I live in Texas for five years, Dallas, Texas, fell in love with Texas. But I wanted the best of both worlds. I wanted California and I wanted Texas. California and Texas had a baby. It's Florida. I moved to Florida. Being in Florida, I like DeSantis that he protects my kids. Even in Texas one night, when my first two if kids- If you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Let's get back to vaccinated. the video. The third kid, fewer. The fourth kid, we wanted the options on what to do and what not to do. You know, in Texas, there is no religious exemption. In Florida, there is. So for me at this phase of my life, when me and my wife are getting smarter, educated, we're making decisions on clear philosophies on how we want to raise our family, probably one of the main things that Trump appealed to family people like me, it sounded sane. Some of the stuff the left was saying made no sense to me. What are we talking about on what some of the messages that were given? I understand the pro-abortion, the pro-life debate, no problem. I actually understand that argument on how it can be made on both sides. I'm a Christian myself. My position is pretty clear where I'm gonna be at, but I can fully understand that being a debate to be talking about. So uh, They went a little bit too much. By the way, Joe Biden was a moderate Democrat. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people on the right are gonna be upset with me. How could you say he was a moderate Democrat and all? He was a moderate, but he was forced to act like he was a progressive. But Kamala was a progressive trying to act like she's a moderate and she wasn't and people just didn't believe her. In a conversation with Jenk Uyghur, Patrick Bet David was asked why he thought his audience and others distrust Democrats and prefer Donald Trump. Bet David shared his personal perspective, explaining that he's a registered independent who once even supported Bill Clinton, whom he thought was a good president, especially when Clinton worked across party lines. However, his views shifted as he grew older got married, had kids, and faced the challenges of running a business. He described a particularly frustrating experience with California's high taxes and strict regulations, which eventually led him to move his business to Texas and then Florida, 
where he felt more business and family-friendly policies were in place. Bet David talked about how, as a parent, he values having choices, especially regarding issues like vaccinations for his kids, which he found more flexible in Florida compared to Texas. He appreciates leaders like DeSantis, who he believes protect family rights. Bet David noted that Trump's messages resonate with people like him because they feel more in touch with families and small business owners. In contrast, he finds some of the messaging from the left confusing or impractical, though he respects certain debates, like those around pro-choice versus pro-life. Ultimately, Bet David sees Trump as a voice for family and business-minded individuals, while the Democrats, in his view, have become too progressive, with figures like Kamala Harris lacking the credibility to appeal as moderates. Bet David even sees Biden as originally a moderate Democrat who was pushed toward a more progressive stance, which he believes may have contributed to a disconnect with, with everyday voters. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. It really helps support the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.